Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are reviewing a new self-tanner. And if you watched my self-tanner review from last week, you already know what this is going to be. It is the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Self-Tanning Foam. So I believe this is a new one. I've tried the Arrow version of this, but I haven't tried this one. I saw it at Ulta when I was ordering the facial version, which I filmed and posted last week, so make sure to go watch that. But I saw this, had to grab it, had to review it for you guys. That is what today's video is gonna be all about. We're gonna be trying it on, seeing what it does for me. I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth your money or not. So yeah, lots of fun stuff today. Before we get into it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. If you love self-tanner videos or makeup videos, just all the girly things, then definitely make sure that you subscribe. But if you wanna see me review this self-tanner, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All righty guys. Like I said, this I believe is new. When I go on Ulta's website, it says only at Ulta, only online, which is the same thing the facial self tanner one said. I'm honestly hoping that this one goes better because spoiler alert, the facial version was not my favorite. And if you wanna know why, go watch that video. I'll link it somewhere up here for you guys. But this is the body version so i am hoping this is good i'm in need of a new amazing dark body self tanner and i'm hoping that this is going to be it so again it's the bondi sands self tanning foam one hour express it says salon quality dual action formula fragrance free 6.76 fluid ounces so standard size i have it pulled up on ulta's website because that is where i got it so I'm just gonna read a few little details for you guys. So an explanation of what it's all about. So on Ulta, it just says, Bondi Sands One Hour Express Dark Self Tanning Foam, 6.76 fluid ounces. So it's $26 and then right now, I don't know if it still will be when I post it, but right now as I'm filming, it's $22.10. So it's on a little sale, which is awesome. And then as for the actual details, it just says, ready when you are, the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Self Tanning Foam will leave your skin with a sun-kissed Australian glow in just one hour. Perfect for on-the-go tanners looking to tackle last minute tanning moments, achieve a bronzed glow with just one hour of wear, and your tan will continue to develop long after wash off. Easy to use formula, guide color to assist with application, fragrance free, vegan and cruelty free. All the best things that's pretty much all it says on the website now on the actual bottle let's just see if there's anything else we need to know okay read that so basically for this you would apply just like you would any other self tanner and then it gives you a little guide here so it says if you keep it on for 30 minutes it's going to be light to medium one hour is dark and then two to three hours is darkest so you guys already know I'm gonna keep it on for the three hours. I wanna see how dark it's actually gonna get me. So I'll keep it on for the three and then I'll wash it off, let it develop overnight, and then once it has developed, I will show you guys what the final result is, what it looks like, things I like, things I don't like, if I think it's worth your money. So yes, keeping it on for three hours. That's pretty much all it says on here. It's very like, Bondi Sands packaging like this like you see this and you know it's Bondi Sands so I do really like that about the packaging like I said I have tried the Aero version of this but this is just a foam it's not Aero so let's see what it does maybe later on I can try to do a comparison between the Aero and this if I end up liking this because I feel like that would be a fun one if you're in between those two I'm gonna stop ranting, I'm gonna start applying, so let's put this on me and see what happens. As usual, I already put facial self-tanner on. I'm, I have a separate one on my face, so I'm gonna just do this on my body. So let's get started.
Okay, so I have finished applying to my body and I have really just good thoughts about this right now. I absolutely love the color of this color barrier. I feel like it has such a natural tone to it. Like it almost looks like this is what the color should look like after I wash off the self tan. Honestly, I'm hoping that it stays this dark, if not gets a little bit darker, because this is such a good color. It's really, really pretty. And I love the undertone of this. It just looks really nice. Of course, I'm gonna wash my hands faster than the rest of me, but color-wise, love it right now. The feeling of it, it's not sticky, maybe a little bit. I wouldn't call it fast drying though. I don't really think it claims to be fast drying unless I'm forgetting something. I don't think it said that it's fast drying, but it's not, like I could still kind of feel it on my skin. It is freshly applied though, so I'm sure after a couple minutes it'll not be so sticky anymore. There's like no smell to it, which is amazing. You guys know we all love a good self tanner with no smell to it. I think that's much better than it having a good smell. Nothing is going to start irritating me or bothering me throughout the night. So I love that. And then we'll see if it kind of develops that self tannery smell after a while. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Everything blended out really, really evenly. Like it looks very even, very natural, really, really nice. So easy to blend and spread. It felt super smooth and just soft and nice. It was really easy and nice to apply. So so far i am a happy girl i don't really have any other comments it wasn't messy there's no mess anywhere nothing got on the floor so so far all just good things i'm very very happy for now so i am going to apply it to the rest of me that i didn't want to show you guys i'm going to wait the three hours wash it off let it sit and then i'll come back and i'll show you guys what the final result is so I will see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back guys. It is the next day and I was so excited to get on camera and show you guys what this tan looks like. As you can see by the look on my face, I'm very happy with it. So excited. I was not expecting to love it as much as I do, but I have to say this is probably my favorite body self tanner that I have tried in a hot minute because look at this. I'm pretty sure this just speaks for itself. The color is amazing. It's so nice, so dark, so natural looking. Even on my hands, I forgot to wash them really early. So I left them on probably, I would say, for about an hour and a half. And I was only planning on leaving it on my hands for an hour. But they still look pretty natural, which is really exciting for me. Everything, though, is amazing. It wasn't too sticky throughout the night. I don't, I didn't notice a smell throughout the night, honestly. Maybe there was a little bit of a self tanner smell, but honestly, nothing that caught my attention. And I was like, hmm, this has a smell. So, as far as I'm concerned, no smell for me. Not sticky. I noticed on one part of my arm there was like a line here. So, I was so scared that it was gonna be uneven, but no, everything is perfect. So, I'm extremely happy with that. Again, this color is just so awesome. I love it so much. It did have like a green tint to it last night, which got me worried a little bit. It was like, especially on my chest and my stomach, it was green. But right now it's like the perfect natural brown shade and I love it so much. The amount of color that it gave me too, you guys, this is three hours and it looks amazing. Literally, like, I kept it on for two days. <laughs> it's so nice. I just have nothing but good things to say about it right now. I'm so excited. I also feel like a little goes a long way with this product. Like, last night when I was applying, I felt like I could have done less than what I had applied, and it would have still been more than enough. So a little goes a long way. You're not wasting too much product to get it all on your body. It works fast. I'm telling you that right now. It really does. And it's just amazing. Seriously, if you have not tried this, you need to. I personally think I like this better than the Aero one. I haven't used that one in a long time, so I might be remembering it wrong. So I might have to do a comparison video between this one and that one, just so that you guys can see the difference, just in case you're on the fence between the two. So I think that's gonna be a fun video as well. 
But as for this, overall, it's amazing. I literally did not notice a single thing that I didn't like about it. And I think this is the first time in a while now, like I said, that I've tried a body self tanner that really just like blew me out of the water in the way that this one did. So this, 100% yes, you need to go get it right now. So good. And such a difference from the face one. Like if you guys saw my video from last week, if you haven't, go watch it. But if you saw, you know, that one I was not a fan of. I felt like it didn't do much for me. This, total opposite. This did everything I could ask for and more. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I feel like I look great. So I'm super happy with it. I'm literally going to be using this nonstop. So we have a winner. So happy. This is a huge yes. You need it. Go get it. But yeah, that's it for today's video. That's all I've got for you guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this a huge thumbs up if you haven't already and make sure to go comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of how this turned out on me. Give me your pros. Give me your cons. Just tell me everything that's on your mind about this self tanner and just say hello because I love you guys. I love hearing from you guys. So comment and please make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.